hi all welcome back to the channel so today in this video I will be explaining you how we can save our screenshots and videos uh, in a custom folder in case in this case the custom folder is a user defined folder where we are giving the folder name uh, in that folder only that uh, screenshots and the videos whichever would be recorded which should be saved okay right now I mean I have not seen shown this uh, thing you so uh, in my pre one of my previous videos if I open in YouTube so you can see here the 20th video uh, that is playwright with Python and PyTest framework uh, playwright part 10 in that I have explained about take screenshots and in the next video I have explained about how to uh, record video so in that actually we have saved in the test results folder that is getting generated by default there is I mean you do not have to give this folder name okay so uh, playwright uh, automatically creates for you and uh, if you do not mention this folder name now if you want to mention a folder let's say I do not want to save in test results folder I want to save in a uh, let's say a snapshots folder so or any folder I mean okay uh, artifacts folder or any name any custom name you want to give in that case how will you do it right so for that uh, let me explain that so in uh, miscellaneous I I'm not creating any new test for this so I'm using one of my previous created uh, test that is test slider I already made a video on it if you want to watch you can do that and uh, let me uh, run it run this file normally and normally in the sense uh, I want to uh, take screenshots and also capture the video or I want to capture screenshots and also record the video right so uh, let's do that so by test minus is and that's that's headed okay and next um, it should be I have to give the folder name that is miscellaneous and after that test slider oh no yeah this one so uh, next I want to capture screenshot so I have to give screenshot equals to on on means uh, it should take screenshot for anything I mean if it should if for failure as well or if it is passing that also in that case also it will take screenshot okay and the, also I want to take the video so video equals to on now let me let's check uh, why it is creating the folder is it creating any default folder or not these things I already explained in those videos in the for, uh, video number 20 at 21 you can watch those videos here I'm just uh, doing one summarized video and uh, I will show you next uh, how to add the custom folder name so here in this case you can see the test passed and now let's see whether one uh, yeah you can see this test results folder got generated it was not there earlier I already deleted it okay so now um, you can see this folder is there and it's just created in this date right today's date that is so <coughs> uh, so here you can see uh, two uh, one png file another is wevm i think this is the video file okay so let me open it quickly or i can double click on it yeah so you can see this um, it, it has taken the screenshots right and the next I can open this one as well so it's capturing the videos as well and then it's pretty quick right we did a, we, we already we already we already know about it so nothing new now next thing is that uh, we do not have to do anything we just have to pass one extra parameter here that is dash dash output equals to let's give the folder name so let me give a folder name called uh, artifacts okay artifacts and uh, so I want to create a folder called artifacts and in that folder I want to uh, add I want to generate this whatever screenshots it has taken and whatever video it has recorded okay let me hit enter okay one thing uh, you can see like I think test results folder should be deleted automatically um, let's see and it should create one folder called test artifact not test artifact just artifacts okay 
so as you can see here uh, it created one folder that is artifact and it is also the test results folder is also there because we have not deleted this folder right and uh, this has something so you have to manually delete it and now uh, our objective is achieved right so we want to create one uh, custom folder that is with the name this one and here we can see the same uh, content is there so the screenshots and the video as well so as you can see I mean if you do not need it you can delete this one and also let's delete this one once again and let's let's run once again clean run. okay it's done and you can see the folder is also created and the screen source is there and also the video should be played I'm not playing it I already shown you so that's it for this today's videos so that's the small thing we have to do that is this uh, thing does does output equals to artifacts okay this thing we need to add this is a command line argument that you have to pass okay that's it thank you for watching please like share and subscribe